Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Bob here and we're carrying on with our FTL um, easy um, difficulty playthrough. Uh, as, you, as you remember from the last video, if you didn't see it, go back and watch it. Um, but we just disabled this ship, killed all the people on board. We've got some stuff and now we're just gonna, uh, just gonna head out. What I'm gonna do before we go is I might, I might add another shield. Um, engines give you a dot, increase your dodge chance or your evade chance. Shields obviously give you give you more shields, but you need to buy two bars to uh, to actually get a shield to get one level of shield. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to need to buy two power bars as well. There we go. So we've got level two shields. Let's get out of here. Um, I'm trying to see what we, what route will be the best to take to the exit. I'm going to go to the nebula because that will uh, slow them down. Hopefully, they, oh no, there's a nebula storm. I hate those. Uh, you spy two pirate ships lurking in the nebula. Okay. Uh, they remain unaware of your presence. You're able to get your scanners uh, to at least identify their cargo. One's carrying fuel, the other ammunition. Um, I think I'm going to leave them be. I don't really want to take a fight here. Sometimes discretion is a better part of that. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, I can't jump because I've got no power to my engines. There we go. Our O2 is out, <laughs> which is stupid. Yeah, when you go into a nebula, there sometimes there's a storm, and and it steals half of your energy, which is just a real pain in the ass. Uh, but we seem ready to go again. And what it does when you go to the next sector, it doesn't automatically put the energy back into your system, so you have to remember to do that. Let's jump. Okay, enemy fleet getting quite close. So I reckon we can probably visit another couple before we get... Um, that is a fight. Yes, more scrap. Okay, here we go. Big fight. Now, I haven't repaired my doors, which is a bit of a stupid thing to do. And I just noticed that my hull's quite low as well. Uh, they've got a rocket launcher. Um... Is this, is this a good opportunity for some more hand-to-hand -hand combat, maybe? Possibly. Um, ba -ba -bom. They've got a rocket launcher. I've got to be careful. I don't, I don't want to take too much hull damage. That's the that's the thing. Um, all I really need to do is to disable these guys' weapons. Uh, maybe I'll chuck a rocket at their weapons first, just do a bit of damage there. And then send some guys in. I'm going to take a rocket on the chin, can't be helped. Let's hit the bloody O2, isn't it? God, strief. Let's get Erwin in there doing some repairs. Okay, let's hit their weapon system. <laughs> oh, well done. Right, we're going to send our troops in anyway. In you go. Oh, two on to two. Oh, God, the O2's been hit again. Get someone else in there repairing. Oh, weapons hit. Okay. Another rocket. Oh, see, with the, the problem here is we're taking hull damage. That, that's the real pain here. Um, my guys... Oh, okay, well, we won the fight. Let's beam them back. Send them to Med Bay. Well, we um, we took some damage there to the to the hull, which I wanted to avoid. I'm gonna have to spend money on repairs, unfortunately. Um, but at least our two guys are. Their hand to hand combat is rating is going up. In fact, Tack there or Tatch, whatever his name is, is uh, is almost up a level. bit dangerous though, I mean I really should have just uh, taken his weapons out there first and then uh, worried about it afterwards. Um, okay, so we've got uh, probably one more to visit before we, we exit this sector. Rebel Automated Scout. No shields. Um, plenty of weapons. <laughs> okay. I think we'll... Uh, 
We'll hit the weapons first and then maybe fire a rocket if we need to. There we go, weapons down. Okay, pretty easy fight this one. Obviously it's automated so no point in sending the guys over. I'm wondering if, if your if your men actually receive um if they receive hand to hand um experience by by attacking um uh, attacking systems, just punching engines and stuff. I'm not quite sure if they do. I just noticed that Eowyn and Aragorn are a bit injured, so we'll uh, we will heal them back up to full, just in case. You never know. And I'm just going to uh, my door system. Sorry, guys, my door system still damaged. What I was going to do just to really it really helps when you're getting it when you're getting uh, invaded is to upgrade your doors to blast doors that just means that anyone who gets beamed aboard your ship uh, they essentially have to punch their way through the doors first so it gives you more of a chance to uh, <laughs> uh, draw the oxygen from their bodies as it were gives you a bit of breathing space essentially Okay, let's jump. And we're off to Sector 3. Generally you don't get any fights here. No. Oh, okay. I can sell 5 missiles for 15 scrap or 10 missiles for 30. So I'm going to go for 15. I'm going to keep some missiles because they're quite useful at the moment. Okay, so... Um, I'm just trying to think of what else we, what else we need at this point. Let's just jump into... Sector three. We're going to go pirate controlled or NG controlled. I don't know. Let's go NG. Cool. Now, a quick look at the ship. Um, as I said in episode one, we're we're looking for a couple of ion weapons um, to deal with with the last guy. Um, I'm looking to build up a couple of a uh, couple of crew members who are good at hand to hand, and that's that's kind of going on at the moment. What I need to do, uh, I think, is probably buy a cloaking device at some point because a cloaking device is is a, is, you know, it really is an amazing piece of kit. It costs 150, so maybe by the time we come across another store, um, oh, there's a store. <laughs> maybe I'll come back to that store see if it's got a cloaking device. The only thing is, at the moment, I'm not I'm not um, I'm not being able I'm not able to or, or I, I'm not producing enough scrap to upgrade my engines and shields at the moment because that's quite important as well um, attack the pirate that's what we're going to do of course we are and now these guys have got a teleporter um, we've got two two dudes pretty good at hand-to-hand -hand fighting so they may find themselves they may find they come unstuck let's see how we get on uh, they've got a rocket launcher which I don't like at all um, so we'll be going for their weapon systems straight away. They are going to beam over, and that's quite handy actually. That's kind of like free experience really for uh, for my guys from a hand-to-hand -hand combat point of view. There we go. I imagine looks like they're fighting one-on-one. -on -one. It's a shame you can't direct the combat, but. Um, What's going Is it a rocket incoming? Oh, yeah, hit the med bay. <clears throat> but I've taken their weapons out, so, you know, I think we're okay now. We'll go for the... Let's go for the shields. Right, they've decided to beam their guys... <laughs> they've beamed their guys back. Obviously, they've uh, they've had enough. Let's get my two guys into the uh, repairing the med bay. Okay, they're trying to get away. We're of course going to try and stop that. No weapons, no shields. Um, I don't think they're going anywhere. We also gained a bit of experience. Um, Now, they're, um, 
they're asking for mercy. Uh, they were pirates, but they are off they're offering us free fuel and eight missiles, which is quite good. Not not much scrap. I'm going to accept the offer. No, I'm going to accept the offer. There we go. Old Swampson's uh, hand to hand combat is going up quite slow. I guess probably because he because. Uh, I think the Mantis guys hit twice as quick, uh, attack twice for every one uh, of uh, of the rock men, so that's probably why. Anyway, let's jump. Uh, oh, a couple of stores inside. We still haven't got 150 for um, <laughs> 150 for. Uh, let's visit this location, and then we'll go back see if we can get a cloaking device. Okay, so these guys are offering. Now they want missiles, they're offering scrap. Ten missiles for thirty scrap, that's pretty that's pretty tempting. That will only leave me with five missiles, but uh, I'm gonna go for it. Now I can go back to the store to see if they've got um cloaking device, please. Yay! Woohoo! Not enough power for it, but that's <laughs> okay. Um, I can't afford another member. That's fine. Can I afford a power bar? No. Actually, let's accept that. Let's go back to the store. What have I got to sell? Oh, I've got a boarding drone to sell. There we go. That will then let me close. That will let me stick a power bar on. So I can power up my cloaking device. Yes. Okay. So we're, we're kind of get, getting there. We're getting getting fitted out with what I need. Um, if I can pick up another ion weapon, I'll be quite happy. Let's jump. Let's go visit one we haven't visited yet. There's another store there, but there's no point in going there. Okay. Pirate, no mercy for this guy. Uh, what weapons has he got? He's got a rocket launcher. They all seem to have bloody rocket launchers at the moment. Uh, but but you're generally your cloaking device deals with rocket launchers, you know, no problems at all. I will. I'll power. I'm going to power up the um, best way to use a cloaking device. I find anyway depends on the fight. But as soon as they shoot their rocket, stick on your cloaking device. There we go, and the rocket should miss. Now what I might do now that his weapons are kind of down is I might send my guys in for a fight. I send them to the shield room. There we go. The bloke standing in the shield room. What the hell's going on? Now I've noticed that Tatch seems to take a lot of damage. I mean I think actually he's getting hit by two of them. <laughs> oh no there's a third one. Oh damn. This could mean that old Tatch is going to go down. Hang in there, fella. Wait until Swampson. Come on, Swampson. Now, I've been hit by a rocket there while I wasn't looking what I was doing. That was a bit... That was a bit bad. Okay. Tatch is still hanging in there. Hang in there, fella. Yes! Whew! He survived. I, was, oh, I thought I was going to lose him then. He's actually gained a level in combat, hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is cool. Let's get them back. Get them back home. Well, I have to say that was a, that was a stirring, stirring fight there by those two. Uh, they definitely a uh, bit, bit of surely for them, I think. A bit worried about my hull. Uh, I sort of haven't kept, I haven't been keeping an eye on it too much. I've noticed that it's, it's going down and down. I do need to be careful of that. I should have probably, uh, I probably should have re should have repaired some of it at the uh, the store. Let's see where we can go though. There is a store there. Let's go down to that store and just. Uh, I'm not going to spend all my money on repairing the hull, um, but we'll we'll fix it up a bit. Let's there we go. Get it back up into the green. And now we're in danger. We're in a danger area now. Uh, distress call up there, but we're not going to get to that before.
before the uh, the fleet catches up. So, okay, you receive a distress call from a nearby NG ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Imminent destruction. Let's respond to the call because that's what we're like. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I think they tricked us, maybe, or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, th I think I think the Mantis guy maybe forced the NG to um, to. Um... <laughs> now they've got a missile. They've got a defense drone, which can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, they've got a laser, and uh, I'm not sure what that is. Is that a, that's an ion cannon, isn't it? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, intruders detected. Intruders in the com. Intruders on in, on the. Uh, now we've got to be careful that we don't want Aragorn to go down. Let's get him out of there. So I reckon Tatch can deal with that. Right, weapon wise, I think we're going to go. We're going to try the ion cannon out for the first time. There we go. Well done. Okay, Ion Blast at the shields. I'm going to stick on auto fire. I will chuck some lasers at their weapons. There we go. That's a good thing about the ion cannon. Put it, put them on auto fire and just leave it going. Essentially, it'll just keep firing. You got two of them. You know, they'll just keep firing at the systems, which is really good. Their weapons are down. There's not really much they can do now. I wonder if it's worth me just sending someone in, sending my guys in for a bit more, uh, a bit more hand-to-hand -hand experience. Maybe I don't know. Actually, the the ship's nearly down, so maybe maybe I won't risk it. I don't need my cloaking device. <laughs> I think my beam keeps uh, my arm, my arm blast keeps missing. There we go. That's a win. Thirty-eight scrap. That's it. Awesome. Let's jump again. I'm going to squeeze in that little location there. Okay, nothing here. That's unusual. Now I need to plan my route now because I don't have. Uh, I need. Well, I need to jump to this one anyway, so we'll go here. Federation bomber. Holy smoke! Oh, Federation. Oh, he's a friend. He needs some fuel. Ah, oh, wow. We're on two fuel. But I do know that if I, I know that if I give him fuel, um, he will probably give us some scrap or something in in. Re in return. Oh god. Um, we've only got four fuel. That's something else I need to keep an eye on as well. I'm, I'm not I'm not being aware of. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to risk it. We added a quest mark. Added a quest mark in the next sector. Okay. Oh. Um... Oh, okay. We've received two fuel. I thought he was... Uh, I thought we... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I think the exit's quite... Is, the exit's quite away from the end of the sector, which... Uh, I picked up some free scrap. Can't argue with that. I'm going to have to exit here, I think, probably. <clears throat> the thing is, if you don't exit, is you end up having to fight your way through some, some quite tough... Uh, rebel ships to get to get out. See, I could go to the distress distress call, then come back. But I'll, I'll certainly have to fight my way out of the. Uh, is it worth the risk for some more scrap? I don't know. Let's go. Let's risk it. Ah, some pirates are stuck in an asteroid belt. 
Try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks. Destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. Oh, that's that's cold. Can I do that? <sighs> let's, try, let's try and dislodge them. Okay, that didn't work. We did get some. Uh, we did get some scrap. But. Right, so we're going to have to fight to get out of the exit here, which is okay. Only one fight. Um, I'm not sure how problematic this is going to be. Probably very. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. We must have survived long enough to be able to jump. Fair enough. Right. So where do we want our power? We definitely want cloaking. Um, and we're going to have a rocket. Let's charge. Now they seem they they haven't got a teleport, thank God, but they have got a couple of lasers and a beam weapon. So I think I need to hit the weapons first. Rockets go through shields, so we'll do that. Oh, that was a good hit. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. We'll fire the laser at their shields. Kind of damage their shields, not too much. Let's shoot a rocket at the weapons again. Oh, they've got a big beam weapon. Holy smoke. They've obviously got guys on there repairing their stuff. Quite quickly, <laughs> by the looks of it. Let's have a chuck a rocket at their shields again. And then burst laser at their shields. Okay, shields down. Now, I've got no idea how many men they're going to have on board. Am I brave enough to send my guys over? Um, or should I just wait? Um, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Once you send them, that's it. You just you can't get them back until... Um, there's a lot of guys. I mean, there's three open doors there on the ship. Which means there's at least three of them. Let's just finish them off, I think. Oh, there's a fire on board, actually. So their shields have completely gone. And we're going to win this fight. There we go. a lot more straightforward than I was uh, expecting. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, so we've got... Okay, so we've got uncharted nebulas both ways. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Which way we go? Let's go that way. Now, this, this sector will generally just be mostly nebula all the way across. It's a bit of a pain, that, because... There's always a chance you'll get a nebula storm, and that mucks it really mucks up your systems. Um, what well, it might be an idea in preparation is to give myself a couple of power bars, just spare. Because the thing is, is that, I mean, at the end of the day, I am going to be spending on on more power bars anyway, so there's not too much of a problem. We do need to visit this store. Okay. Okay, so a Mantis Scout. Um, this transgression will be overlooked. Don't be very dangerous next time humans all die. Okay, so we don't need to fight him. Um, Mantis Ship, Mantis Scout. I mean, they're not. He's neutral. He's not a pirate. We'll we'll leave him be. I thought there was a store here. Oh no, the store's there. Oh, God. Well, that was our last bit of fuel <laughs> to get to that store, so we'll we'll buy five of his five of the fuel there. Uh, we'll fix up a couple of a uh, couple of uh, bars on the hull as well. Nothing else really for me to get. Um, reverse ion field, picture ship from ion damage, blah blah blah. Scrap recovery arm. No, I think we're okay. Let's jump. 
There's another store there, quite a lot of stores here. A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula. He wants to sell us an unknown weapon. Well, mm, that's no good. That's a couple of jumps already we've had where we've come across ships <laughs> and we haven't got any uh we haven't got any scrap from it. It's weird how your own <laughs> your own morals uh interfere with playing a game. It's just a game. Just attack the ship and get some bloody get some bloody scrap, you know. Um <laughs> uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I feel bad about it, but there you go. Uh, oh and they've sent people over, haven't they? Of course they bloody well have. Okay, so where are these guys? We'll send Tatch out on a on a quick recon because he's pretty uh, he's pretty quick. Ah, they're down here. So what I can do is kind of flush them out a bit actually. That's a good thing about the doors, you see. So they've got to destroy the doors to get through. Um, I'm a bit worried about their rocket launcher. That would be okay there. We'll, we'll chuck a we'll chuck a rocket at his rocket launcher. I should have, uh, and again, you see, not not thinking what I'm doing. I should have um, should have used my cloaking device there for some stupid reason. I didn't. Don't know why. Their intruders are, th are still on. Ah, the, in the uh, intruders are attacking my cloaking device, which is uh, a bit of a pain. And actually, probably, I mean, this is a good opportunity for um, good opportunity to gain some uh, some more experience from gain some more experience from combat. And actually, there. <laughs> They're kind of nearly dead anyway. Okay, well, I didn't need to do that, did I? What I'll do is, I think I've taken a couple of hits up here, so let's go and just get, um, check to make sure no fire's raging. I don't think there's any hold damage. No, we all seem okay. Rocket incoming again. This time I remember to use my cloaking device. There we go. I'm making harder work of this than prob <laughs> probably needed to. Um, let's power up the ion blast. It's, it's worth having that just auto firing essentially, I think. It certainly helps. Is that another rocket? A couple of another rocket incoming. I'm certainly making this fight harder than it should have been. There we go. They want to surrender. Uh, afraid not, chap. There we go. Oh, and a hefty bit of scrap. See that? That's why it's always. I think it's always good to, to you know, to do that kind of thing. Um, store. Is there anything else we can buy? we want to buy from a store? Another ion weapon, maybe. No, nothing here. Let's fix up a bit there. We'll buy all their fuel as well. Is it worth buying another party member? Um, no, I'm going to save my... Uh, mm, humans are common and uninteresting. <laughs> no exceptional traits. <laughs> uh, because it's a nebula, I feel that I can probably cover a lot of, the, uh, a lot of this sector. Um, a lot of the uh, systems in it. So I'm going to spend some scrap on another member. What I'm going to do is... Tatch is going to become essentially a full-time um, 
a full-time sort of fighter. Uh, so I'll get Lana on the on the shields, and we'll have these two full-time going out doing some stuff. Uh, Gandalf's a bit a bit injured there. Let's get him up to the, uh, the med bay. Right, guys. I think this video is again has been about half an hour or so. Uh, we're sort of just working away in, in into sector three. Um, I'll stop this video here, and I'll be back again with another video. Um, in the future. Thanks for watching.